Ukrainian airstrike hits Russian manpower cluster on Bakhmut's southern flank. Ukraine's army aviation hit an enemy manpower and weapons cluster on the southern flank of Bakhmut as part of the effort to liberate the temporarily occupied territories, according to Ilya Yevlash, press officer for the Eastern Group of Troops. On the southern flank of Bakhmut, we continue our advance as our defenders are liberating temporarily occupied territories from the enemy by hundreds of meters every day. All the available forces and assets are employed there. In particular, our Army Aviation Units did a very good job on October the 10th, inflicting a powerful blow on an enemy manpower cluster. However, the Russians don't stop trying to recapture previously lost positions, in particular near Klishivka and Andreevka, where they see no success. The enemy 365 times shelled the Ukrainian positions. We repelled four enemy assaults. We killed 165 occupiers in the Bakhmut direction, capturing one. We also destroyed a D-30 artillery system and five ammunition depots, Yevlash said. Commenting on the situation in the Lyman-Kupiansk direction, the spokesman noted that on October the 8th, there was a lull due to rains in Luhansk and Donetsk regions, which prevented the enemy from intensively deploying heavy military hardware and aviation. Over the past day, the enemy has used Su-35s and Su-25s 20 times. They mostly fly in pairs and engage our positions, but they are wary of flying into the zone covered by our air defences. They mostly operate from their own territory, the spokesman said. According to the spokesman, the enemy is currently trying to focus their main efforts on the areas near Sinkivka and Ivanivka in Kharkiv region and Makiivka in Luhansk region.